Now then, YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Newport County Manager mode. We are in the Championship, and it looks as if Cresci might be leaving the club for a club record £5 million if we, uh, if, well, if whoever it is gets their way. So we've got another offer there that I offered £6 million for. Rajud, uh, because I need to understand the role at the club that we've got. That's Rudy Chavez. Now we've got Xavi there as well, so... Hmm... It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard as this. Can I say squad rotation and we'll... No, he's not actually. He's going to be an important first team player. He is going to be a first team player if we don't manage to get somebody else. So let's say you're going to be an important first team player and we'll, we'll see what happens there. Vladislav Salagov is uh, another guy who wants to know his role at the club. This is that central defender, by the way, guys. Um, he's a good central defender, though, so I don't want this guy to disappear. Um, I'm going to say squad rotation, okay? If he's not happy with that, I can always up it and then, you know, give him a loan lease or something like that. In response to your recent inquiry of Juan Jose Barrera Reyes, we will consider a bid in the region of £1.1 million. This is that left midfielder that I was talking about that could replace Cresci. Um, he's a sporadic first-team player at the moment. I certainly want to keep my eye on him. £1.1 million. I can get him for less than that, I'm quite sure. So, we want to see what happens with Cresci first. What type of money is going to come in from that? And how much we've exactly got from that. Um, transfer offer for Cresci. It's a £3.9 million pounds off of that. It's a pretty mental one, that. £6 million pound is in. Is uh, certainly in in demand, is Cresci. They want 700000 for Angela. They want 850000 for Angel Javier Miguel Camara. Who is... Is he, is he that central midfielder I was looking at? It was, wasn't it? Yes, and I definitely want to try to get him as well. Uh, Alejandro Angela is 19, so he's actually one uh, older than Angel there. I probably want to go for Angel. Don't you worry, Antonio Lopez. Don't you worry a little self about it. I need to find out what's going on with Cresci first. Once I find out what's going on with Cresci, the player's been sold. That means that Cresci's gone. Crushy! Crushy, no! Right, the offer has been accepted for Rudy Chavez. We'll go ahead and accept that. Keep him sweet. And look at that transfer budget there. Whoa! It's a good transfer budget. So we've got uh, uh, Vladislav who's declined it. He wants a bigger role than I've offered. Why don't we give him a bigger role? We may as well. We may as well. Cresci has gone to five five million pounds to QPR. Four point two million has been uh, ad, allocated to the transfer budget. So let us start putting some money into the club here and uh, going for some of these people that's on my shortlist. Uh, I forgot the names already, and my shortlist is that fucking big that I'll never find the fuckers again. Well, Angel Javier Miguel Camara was one of them, and he was the younger one. He was one that I was after because of his, his passing. So we'll approach to buy him. His, his value is 850. I'm going to try, definitely going to try and get him for less. 400. 400k. Sporadic first team player. 400k. Just putting off of, uh, of that. Half his value. Well, just less than half his value. Um, and we'll see what they say to that. We need also the left midfielder that I was talking about. In terms of where are you? Left back, left midfielder. Juan Jose Barrera Reyes was valued at one point one million pounds. His, oh man, it doesn't look very good though, does he? His ball control, his crossing, yeah, his crossings are. He's only eighteen. <laughs> Thing is, I don't want to. Ah, oh, man. Man, 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 man. Man, 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 man. Um, I'm not sure I want to spend this much. His stamina's not great. His acceleration and sprint speed, you know, they're pretty good. Um, his balance is pretty good. His agility is not great. I want Crashy back. Give me Crashy! Crashy! Oh, what? His short passing is not great. 
I don't think he's worth anywhere near 1.1 million. Saka back to the drawing board on a left midfielder. I think we'll go ahead and just um, put any there. We'll go to Premier League. Barclays Premier League. Player age 23. Oh, man. See if we can get somebody that might be on the fringes in the Premier League. Alex Pritchard. See if we can find anybody that's, uh, you know, at least listed with some sort of attributes. Should we get Raheem? Raheem! Wellington Silver. And that's the last guy on there. Oh my god. Jordan Abita. I don't think any of these will even, you know, come to us. Championship. I could have taken the player age off there, but... I don't know. I'm starting to regret the decision. Adam Reach. This guy's not bad. He's got good acceleration, good sprint speed. Um, his agility is not fucking great. His crossing's not great, but his dribbling's good. His short passing's fantastic. Bruno Andrade. Hmm. Looks better than the other guy. See if we can find anybody. Whoa! Gavin Massey. Look at them uh, physical attributes there. The stamina's bloody off the charts, man. But his uh, skill attributes are pretty much non-existent. He can run with the ball, but he can't do anything else with it. <laughs> he can't do up with it. He can't cross it. Man. When somebody's good at crossing. He's apparently good at crossing. James Curtin. Left winger. We we do have a left winger in. Uh, you know what? Let's go and have a look. See what our left winger's like in Pereira Reyes, because he went off, didn't he? There he is. Look, he's in the squad. Did we even look at our new signing? I don't think so. Pereira Reyes is rated sixty three. Um, my God, his acceleration's uh, none of that's good at all. Nothing is uh, good, uh, unfortunately. Oh man. Chavez at 69. You see, at least our players are getting better. But I'd rather Ray Buckable and call at him. Kinney is 67. That's not bad. 19 year old Kinney. Hmm. But again, our reserve. We've got four reserves. Chavez is rated 63, so he's better than uh, Moreno. Just the cross in 60, man. Oh, what? You can play both sides. I'm going to have people screaming at the thing. Go, buy this guy, buy this guy. Buy this guy. Um, and in truth, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, Lima de Castro, I said he's going to be amazing. Just hasn't done much. I oh, know it was Lopez, wasn't it? Lopez is 18. And uh, this guy is just immense. Guy is just immense. But I'm pretty much stuck. My left and right midfielders now have gone from being 70, 70 plus rated guys, well, ish, to being 63 rated guys. I am stuck for quality on both the left and right midfield area. I'm going to need to find somebody. Assless Chappers, that's another guy who's not going anywhere in terms of rating. He's 26, though. Atkinson certainly is a guy who's got a bright future, I'm sure. Uh, he's 19 years of age, rated 65. Hansen's 28 years of age. He's going to start going down. Man, I'm just at a point where I don't know what to do. 
I've got all this money, and I don't know what to do with it. Left midfielder. The thing was, if the scouting system weren't so broken, I'd use my scouting system, but... It is, it's, it's fucking terrible. Oh yeah, this is a first time, first team guy. Is it? Fuck. I want to inquire about people who can cross the fucking ball. Right, Dodd. He can cross the ball. Let's inquire about Mr. Dodd himself. Reach has got great attributes there. Ball control, dribbling, shot power. Long shots. I like my long shots. Left midfielder, Adam Reach. Why don't we have a look at this guy? And pro, um, inquire about Adam Reach. He's pretty fast. Can he cross the ball? No, but he's got bug, uh, apparently good ball control and dribbling. But nothing else. It's all well and good, you know, being able to run with the ball, but need to do something with it. This guy. Callum Harriet. He hasn't got even good ball control either. Oh, man. We already know about this guy, who's absolutely immense in terms of physical prowess down that left-hand side. But he can't do anything with the ball. That's the problem. That's a real problem. We already know about that guy. This guy's good at crossing James Curtin, and apparently he's good at, good at that stuff. Let's all look at James Curtin. 22 years of old. Uh, of old? 22 years of old. His contract expiring in 12 months. This guy, good physical attributes. <gasps> Ooh, this guy, Jamie Patterson, plays for Forest. Could be somebody. He has that special something, this guy. His value is £2.6 million. I think we can go straight in with a bid here. We can go straight in with a bid here, and this could be a very good acquisition, I reckon. Oh, look, his wage, man. That This is the problem. Is his wage an offer between 3.6? I'm going to put in a £3 million bid. Because we can shift you across the wage there. Man. This guy's not too bad either. Jeremy Halan. Great, you know, fantastic speed. He's, all his attributes are above 70, so he'd be, he'd, I think he'll be above 70 player. But his ball control's crap. His dribbling's not too bad. Jeremy Halan. He's 24. Let's inquire about him. He's only, he's only worth 725k. He can't be that fucking great. Kazenga Luar Luar. Not bad. Not bad. His jumping strength's not good, but for a left winger, that's fine. Um, his crossing isn't great, but it's not too bad either. Kazenga Luar Luar. Let's get it. Oh, he's 25, man. Mind you, it doesn't really matter about how much they're worth. I just want somebody who can do the fucking job. Kreshe! Look at this guy. Why did we ever get rid of Kreshe? Why did we ever get rid of Kreshe? Mind you, it, look, in ball control and dribbling, there are better players. And if I managed to get Curtin, I'll tell you something, that would be a step up from Kreshe. It would be a step up from Kreshe. So, hopefully we can do that. If we can use that money wisely... Matt Phillips, pretty fast. Pretty fast bastard. Not bad with dribbling as well. Could be somebody. Could also be somebody. Rated about 70, I would reckon. Matt Phillips. It's 25 years of age. Crescia was 24. So, you know, his, his uh, contract's expiring as well. Whoo. Um, let's see if there's anybody else out there that we can see that's got good fucking stats. Ryan Miller. Got good 
physical stats, what about his... Nah, he's fucking terrible, man. Solomon March. Another guy who's good physical. And not too bad. In these states, either. He's not got great crossing, though. It's one of the big things, but he's got good shot power. Um, his dribbling's good. His ball control's good. Solomon March. Let's go and add him to the list of people that we want to have a look at. He's only 21 as well. He's only 21 as well. Let's inquire about 1.8 million Brighton guy. 1.8 million. Wow. Could be worth signing, you know. He also has that special something. Well, we've got a, an array of talent at left mid. Wait, Solomon. Let's go back and have a look at Solomon guy. Because I want to know what his wages are. My first choice is that other guy. And, the, you know, the awesome one. But in terms of wages, I don't reckon we'll be able to go and get him. Um, oh, man, come on. Left mid, left mid, left mid. Jamie Patterson, this guy, is first choice. First choice for me, because he's got pretty decent crossing. His ball controls are excellent, dribbling excellent. This guy's fantastic. Um, second choice would be Solomon March. What about his, what's his wages like? I don't know. I'd have to actually go and have a look through Search a Player again. Let's go and have a look then. Shouldn't take too long. I'll just go upwards instead of down. If I can do that. Yes, there he is. Right, what wages are you on, Mr. Solomon? 15k wages. So, he's uh, less money. He's younger. By three years younger. The offer should be quite high to stand a chance because he's a star. Big star at that club. Who knows? Who the fuck knows what's going to happen here? Let's, we've put in a couple of offers. Well... No, a couple of uh, feelers. I offered three million for thingy. Dodd, 350,000. He must be shit then. James Curtin. 4.8 million pounds for Jamie Patterson. That's a lot of fucking money. 1.8 for Jeremy Halan. 2.9 for Matt Phillips. Elton Pereira Reyes. Yes, we can discuss wages, Antonio Lopez, after I've managed to sign the people that I want to sign. Thank you. 3.8 million for Kazenga Lualoa. 2.4 for Solomon March. Interesting. But I put a bid in for 3 million for that other guy, didn't I? Unacceptable. I want 4 million for Jamie Patterson. Maybe we can tempt them with the 3.8. Because I need as much money as I can to shove on the wage budget. That's a big problem. Unacceptable. £650,000 price tag for Angel Javier Miguel Camara. I don't want to do anything just yet. Apart from this guy. I want to get this guy. It puts the wage budget right away down there. And could put it without, you know, beyond reach. New, new sign in, Vladislav Salagov. Let's go and have a look at him. Let's see if he's, he's legend. Let's see if he is legend. Got three stars now. Lima de Castro, remember, is 20. This guy is 19 years of age. Could we get away? Maybe, maybe selling on Lima de Castro, you know. We could well get away with that. I think so. I think so. Lima de Castro. Because we've got plenty of defenders. I know you guys say about, you know, oh, get it like right, you know, get backups and stuff like that. But uh, with Salagov, he's better than the, uh, the the last one. And we've got so many fucking guys. I mean, person there. We've got Wally as well. Mm, it's pretty shit, though, as a backup. Maybe we can get rid of Wally. We definitely can get rid of Wally. Who's worth more? Who can we get a bit of uh, bit of Wonga for? This here, look. 
Yeah, I could get him on wage budget. I could just about afford him on wage budget. Right, okay. So we're getting somewhere, guys. We are getting somewhere with replacing thingamabobbins with some real talent, some real, real talent on that left-hand side. Um, Wally, Lima de Castro is worth more, but not by a great deal. His wage is more. Hmm. See, it could be worth more in the future as well. So maybe we'll go ahead and sell Wally, I think. Add to the transfer list. Add to the transfer list for Wally. And we'll continue on. We put that offer in. We need to figure out what we're going to do there. Lift the European Champions Trophy. Are you kidding me? 3.8 million was accepted. Holy flying bastard. Crucial first team player. This could be... One of the biggest signings I've done in a long time. I know a lot of people are probably going on about, oh, you should have got Solomon. Should have got Solomon. But if we can get this guy, if we can get this guy, he has that something special. So did the other guy, actually. And he was younger by four years. Maybe he's accepted that offer, guys. Wow. This could be the biggest mistake I've ever made. Or oh, the best decision I've ever made. Let's go ahead and accept this offer. We've got literally no money left. We'd have to sell to accumulate. New signing has arrived. We will end this episode finding out if this guy is worth that amount of money or not. He's rated 74, guys. We've actually gone a full three more in terms of overall and I'll tell you some of his attributes. He's pretty fast. His ball control is fantastic. His dribbling is fantastic. His crossing isn't as good as Crash's. But his long shots are also fantastic. And I like to have a long shot. Can he hit it with his right? He can hit it with his right so he can cut inside and all. That's great. That's absolutely... And he can play striker and right midfielder as well. Interesting. We've got Chavez there on the left. Who, 19 years of age, just isn't worth looking at, really, maybe. Um, but that is a start. That is a real, real start, guys. And I think from now, what I'm going to have a look... Uh, I'm going to do between episodes, what I'm going to do is have a look through at these players that have got 12 months left on their contracts. Scout as many of these players as I possibly can. So I can get a good valuation and a good look into how good these players are come January and get uh, and get some players on a pre-contract. I do understand that you do need to be able to pay for them um, pre-contract so you would lose that kind of monies. But what, what a deal. I think that we got the best out of that deal because he's still 24 years old. He's got a couple of seasons worth of improving yet. And he's already 74. We could get our money's worth and more in two years' time if we decide to let him go. He, he could be a Premier League player, whereas Cresci, who knows? Who knows? But we got 5 million for Cresci and we spent 4, no, we spent 3.8 on, uh, on this guy. So I think, that's, I think that's good business. I think that is good business and we don't have much in the way of bu wage budget left. Um, not at all. So that's the uh, the end of this episode, guys. We start the new season without Cresci, but we do start it with the new guy, and a good new guy it is as well. Until next time, guys. I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.